This daughter of Archie Bunker is helping J1 students from many races, religions, and cultures. So let me tell you about these amazing students who I refer to as summer sons and daughters. Every year, approximately 4,000 J1 students from over 60 countries come to work on Cape Cod, the islands, and the South Shore. The J1 summer work and travel visa, which the students refer to as the work, 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 and travel visa, is a cultural exchange visa. It's the dream of many of these students to come to America and learn about our culture. We connect with the students through the Facebook group Hello Summer J1, which has over 12,000 members. On this group, the students can find housing leads, they can find ways to identify housing scammers, and they are really busy this year, I'll just say that. Second job leads, the number to call if they feel they're being trafficked, where to find bikes and scooters, a bicycle safety and rules of the road vid video, because as you notice, they sometimes do not obey the rules of the road. And information on Cape Cod health concerns, how to download the Sharktivity app, because yes, they are back, and information about free J1 events. At a J1 welcome dinner, students hear from a police officer in many countries, the police are not their friends. They run from police. But the police come to our dinners and say, we're your friends, come, come to where we are, we'll give you a tour. Last year, or two years ago, the Yarmouth dinner, the Yarmouth PD let the kids get into the car and be handcuffed. Why they wanted to do that, I don't know, but they did. And I said, you can do this on one condition. Do not put it on social media and say, dear mom, we had a little problem today. Don't do that. I'll come looking for you because I'm a mom and I know what your mom would feel like. So those are some of the things that the police do. The police also talk about human trafficking at times and tell them you know, to be careful on the roads and that if they, some of the places they give helmets out. I don't know if they do that here in Chatham anymore, but they used to in Brewster, Chatham, and Orleans, that if a J1 student showed up, they could get a helmet for free. Ah, oh, I digress, okay. So if they, you know, they meet students from all across the globe, they have American style food, and we also have giveaways, which is fun. Last year, we had quite a crowd wanting to sing their national anthems for a gift card. It was fun. <laughs> 15 kids from Kazakhstan stood up and sang their national anthem in front of 110 other people. It was, it was a blast to watch them do it. We also have other events, such as bonfires, cookouts, pool parties, Christmas in July, Thanksgiving in August, and beach games. In 2014, this is where I have a hard time reading, so please excuse me, but Mika, a young woman from Kazakhstan, lived in our home until she could find housing. After she found housing, her boyfriend came to the Cape. You may have read about him, Ulnar Samarkam. He was bright, congenial, helpful. He came to two of our welcome dinners and he received bike lights and helmets. He told us he'd get to using them. One July night, he was dressed in his Burger King black, traveling down 132, going across the old exit off of the highway. And he was hit by a car. No bike lights, no helmet, went through the windshield, died a few hours later. And we had to pick up the pieces for Mika. She traveled 20 hours with the casket on the plane below her, knowing that her former boyfriend was now in a casket below her. So it's in owner's memory that we give away the backpacks because we don't ever want to go through that ever again. Each backpack is reflective, contains bike lights, water bottles, sample size, toiletries, snack foods, and other items as donated. Last year we gave 1,864 backpacks to J1 employers. 
Thank you again for making that possible. So far this year, we have orders for 2,210. Yesterday, my husband and I were saying, we're almost there, we're almost there. We only have 400 more to deliver and make. <laughs> but we're gonna get there. And my husband and I have hosted warning, this is, this is a shameless plug, okay? My husband and I have hosted J1 students in our home from Malaysia, Jamaica, Serbia, Thailand, Ukraine, Russia, Chechnya, China, Romania, and Kazakhstan. It's so wonderful to hear about their homes, their cultures, and to smell the incredible spices of their homeland wafting through the house. Um, although I will tell you that if it's World Cup season and you have multiple nationalities in your house, things can get a little loud. <laughs> now though, we have summer sons and daughters from all over the world. One of them from Macedonia, she was hit by a car in Falmouth back in 2017. They called the parents, they thought she was gonna die. Long story short, she runs several miles a week and two weeks ago she got married. So, shameless plug, here it comes. If you would like to host a student or two in your home, the Cape Cod J1 housing program, which is run by the Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce, would absolutely love to hear from you because there are still students that need housing. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my story and to tell of my amazing summer sons and daughters. And I hope that someday you will have summer sons and daughters of your own. Thank you, Kathy, for sharing. This is a remarkable story and a remarkable a action being taken right here. I had never heard of it before. I knew we had J1 students, but I didn't know anything more. And when I discovered this, I thought I, we really have to share. We have to have her come and tell us all that they do. J1 students are amazing. I've, um, my nephew has married a woman he met here. She's from Hungary. 